In this video, I'm going to introduce you to my easy and logical method for factoring or factorizing, depending on what you call it, quadratic equations. The first type I'm going to do is ones with the plus at the end. If you get a plus at the end, since they multiply to give you the last number, that tells you that the signs in your answer have got to be the same. And if you've got two pluses or two minuses, it means you add to get the middle number. So it's the same and we're going to be adding. So wh what we do now is we just get started on that eight. We need the factors that give you eight. So we've got one times eight will give you eight. And we've got, but we don't bother putting the, the, the times in the middle, we've got two and four. Two times four gives you eight. We're adding the numbers and we're adding them to get you the middle number. So one plus eight gives you nine, so that can't be correct. But two plus four gives you six. So that means two and four are our numbers. Now we put the brackets, it's two, that's our two factors. We've got x and x, and we've got 2 and 4. Now, if they are the same, they've got to be two pluses or two minuses. The middle sign's a plus. So the only way you can get a plus if they're both the same sign is if they're both plus. So if it is the same, all you do is you write whatever that sign there is, and you go both, whatever it is. So it's both plus. So that is our answer. The next one we'll have a wee look at is x squared, and we'll have a minus this time, so it's minus 7x plus 12. Again, we have a look at the plus, and that tells you that they're going to be the same, and that we're going to be adding the numbers. So we start with factors of 12, and 12's got an extra factor. We've got 1 and 12, 1 times 12 gives you 12, 2 and 6, 2 times 6 gives you 12, or 3 and times 4 gives you 12. Now, they've got to add to give you 7, just ignore the sign, but they now, they've got to add to give you 7, so you go 1 plus 12 is 13, not right, 2 plus 6 is 8, but 3 plus 4 is 7, so that is your answers. So write out your factors, you've got x and x, and we've got 3 and 4. So this tells us that they're both minus. Remember, if they add to give you a minus, 7, they've got to both be minus. So it's both minus, so you put minus 3 and minus 4. And that's the two examples when it's the same last sign. If it's the same last sign, they're both the same, that tells you that we're both plus, or if it's a minus, that tells you that they were both minus. In the next bit, we'll have a look at minus for the last sign. Now we're looking at examples where the last sign is minus. If we get a minus number at the end, the only possibility is that one of them was a plus and one of them's a, a minus. So we just say that they're different. You can write diff, but I'm going to put the whole different in case you're looking back. So they're different, and that means we're minus. We're taken away, right? So it's one minus the other one. So we'll just write a minus sign later when we're doing other ones. So we know they're different and we're going to be taken away. So we can start and write our factors for 10. So you just go 1 times 10, or 2 times 5. And we're looking for a difference. We're taking away. So 10 minus 1 gives us 9. So that's not 3, so that can't be it. But 5 take away 2 gives us 3. So that is your answers there. So we now write in our factors. And we'll put in our 2 and our 5. Now we look at this sign here, and we get a minus answer. So if we're adding a plus and a minus number to get a minus answer, it means the biggest is that one. So you don't need to bother going through the thing in future. You just go biggest is minus. 
So have a look at their factors. We've got a 2 and a 5. Which one's the biggest? The biggest is the 5, so it's got to be the minus. So the other one's got to be the plus. We'll do a second example on, on that. We'll have x squared plus x minus 6. Again, look at the second sign. It's a minus. Therefore, to get a minus, they've got to be different signs. So you write different. I'm just going to put diff this time. And I put a wee minus sign to say we're taking away. Get into the factors for 6. 1 and 6. Or the other possibility is 2 times 3. So we want a difference of 1. Has 1 and 6 got a difference of 1? Nope. But 3 minus 2 gives you 1, so that must be your answers. So all we do is we put x, x, and we've got 2 and 3. This time it comes to plus 1, so it means your biggest must be that sign, which is plus. Which one is the biggest? The biggest one is the second one, so that must be the plus. And that is it. Factorised. You now see both types with plus and a minus at the end. There's just a couple of examples just to make sure that you know what you're doing. We have a look at the last sign first, and that is minus, so that means they must be different. So we write a minus sign below saying we're going to take away. So we write out the factors, 1, 15, uh, 3 and 5, and then it's a difference, so we're taking away. So 15 take away 1 gives you 14, so that's not 2. 5 take away 3 gives you 2, so that means we can put in our factors. So it is that one there, so it's 3 and 5. Then we'll look at this one. The answer's plus 2. So your biggest one's got to be plus. So you write biggest plus and you, so the biggest is plus, so that one's got to be the plus and that one's got to be the minus. Always put this working in because it writes a picture in your brain so you will remember it. You'll be quite excited when you were able to do it the first time and that'll come back to you providing you put the full working in. Last example before we give you something to do yourself. x squared minus 8x plus 12. So the last one this time is a plus. So to get a plus, they've got to be either two minuses or two pluses to multiply to give you a plus. So that means they're the same and we're adding. Factors of 12, it's 1 times 12 or 2 times 6 or 3 times, sorry, uh, times 4. So if you have a look, they've got the add to give you the 8 this time. So 12 and 1 is 13, doesn't it work? But if you look at the second one, 2 plus 6 is 8. So that works. So your answers are 2 and 6. So you've got x, x. You've got 2 and 6. And they were the same. So if you add 2, Minuses are two pluses. It's got to be the two minuses to give you a minus. And that tells you that they're both. Remember, if it's plus, they're both some. So they're both minus. And that is your answer. So the next thing we'll do is give you a couple of examples. Press pause, attempt the questions, then press play to get the solutions. If you didn't get the same answers, then have another look at the video.